ladies and gentlemen, some of you might have heard the story out of Oregon where this black teen that you're looking at was killed over loud music. And we heard this before with the Jordan Davis case. There ain't no damn way loud music got to you that badly that you brought a gun to kill somebody over it. Some of these people are just out here fishing around for any lame ass reason to attack a black person. And that's really all it is. So this came out November 30th, 2020. Black Oregon teen fatally shot after argument over music. I mean, this man act like he was forced to stand there and listen to this music or something. A black teenager in Oregon was shot and killed last week following a report. Uh, this argument took place out in a parking lot over the volume of his music. Ashland, Oregon police were called to the parking lot before 5 a.m. November 23rd, where the teen was identified by friends and family 19-year-old Aiden Ellison was found deceased. The police department said Robert Paul Keegan, 47, who looks horrible for 47, by the way, shot Ellison once in the chest. Yes, there was an argument over music. No, this did not happen because of loud music. It happened because the suspect chose to bring a gun with him and chose to use it. Ashland Police Chief Ty O'Mara said in a Facebook post, 100% on him, not the poor young man that was murdered. Keegan, who was white, was arrested and charged with second degree murder, first degree manslaughter, reckless endangerment, and unlawful possession of a weapon. So it seems to me he wasn't even supposed to have this weapon. You know, and, and trust me, this ain't his first brush with the law, y'all. You'd be amazed at how many people that look just like this that got long rap sheets. And, you know, when you get pictures of him, I notice many of the pictures are fuzzy. I, I looked at a couple of them and they were all fuzzy looking. Okay. <clears throat> Keegan pled not guilty to all the charges on Friday. He's being held at the Jackson County Jail on no bail and is expected back in court on February 22nd for a pretrial hearing. O'Mara told CNN that Keegan was staying at the end with his three-year-old son after being displaced by the Alameda wildfire, which burned more than 3,200 acres of land in the state two months ago. Mm. There's a reason why this man lost everything. Look at what kind of person he is. Community members and advocates have said that Keegan's action was a byproduct of racism, and I agree with that. It is not a coincidence that a white man, according to police, chose to take a life of a young black man for the offense of playing his music. This is at the root of racism. This is how people and cultures are erased through deeply ingrained violence. Joel Aikens. Ashland mayor elect. This is what he said Saturday on social media. The police department's press release on the incident doesn't say whether racial motives are being investigated, though O'Mara did address the community anger in his interview with CNN. I understand that there are legitimate tensions surrounding matters of violence against people of color in the U.S., and the situation speaks directly to that, the police chief said. I want to do whatever I can with the police department to navigate our marginalized community member relationships and find a way through this. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have seen this so many times. It's not even funny. The difference is now I'm glad many of these things can be captured on video because, you know, and, and despite that, you, you still got a group of people that will tell you something else that's totally different from what's on the video. <laughs> they still do that. It, it doesn't work, but this is what they still do. We, you know, we don't believe what your eyes saw. Believe me. And no, historically, I know I can't believe you. Okay, plain and simple. I can't believe you. But ladies and gentlemen, people like this man that did the shooting have been propped up so much in this country. They think they can't do no wrong even when they're wrong. They think they're correct even when they're wrong. That's how it. That is how bad it is, for real. This is ridiculous. Nobody on this planet should die over some damn music. But y'all, please tell me what you think. This is outrageous. And my prayers to Aiden and his family. I, I hope they can find some peace through this whole thing. But definitely don't come out with that I forgive you stuff. Never, ever forgive anybody f uh, for taking one of your own. Number one, that is not even a natural thing for you to feel that way. You feel that way because of all the stuff that have been bred into us to believe is the right thing. Everything is upside down in this world. Things they're telling you is okay is wrong. Things that they do that we know are bad things, they're trying to tell you that's a good thing. Everything is backwards. But this world can never, ever be the same or be even halfway decent until it's finally back into the hands of the righteous. As long as it's continuing to be in the hands of the wicked, nothing ever will be right. And we will continue to see these incidents. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.